You may be asking yourself, what the hell is a Mercedes-Benz Unimog? Well, we're about to find out. Now, if you know what the Mercedes-Benz Unimog is, then you're ahead of the curve. If you don't, don't worry. This is going to be a crash course into this unique vehicle, its history, and the market dynamics for the Unimog in the United States. We're going to take a look at a video here from the auction. This thing was badass. But before we launch into today's example, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trey and this is Vintage Four Wheel Auctions. We vet all the active truck and four x four category auctions on Bring a Trailer and highlight only the top tier of the vehicles from this segment. So if you're in the vintage SUV market, you'll wanna keep an eye on these auctions. With each video, our objective is to discuss and show you what to look for in a vintage SUV and what to avoid. Our hope is that this simple video format encourages interaction with viewers on the vehicle condition and ending price points. So starting today, we have a 1976 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 416 Doka. It has a turbocharged 5.7 liter OM352 diesel inline six with a 20 speed manual transmission. It also features the coveted three locking differentials as well as portal axles. It's finished in an attractive tan paint over black vinyl upholstery. We've got four days left on this auction. There are eight bids to $50,000 and there currently are 30 comments on the auction. Now, we're still in the early stage with this auction, but I do expect it to heat up. That said, what I do not expect from this auction is it to turn into an all-out bidding war like the first auction. This is a Bring a Trailer alumni auction, meaning this is the second time it's been on Bring a Trailer. This is a very unique auction, so we will selectively review comments from both auctions that will give you a lot more context on this Unimog. It'll also give you context on this literally unprecedented figure this one brought at auction only one year ago. So if you're looking for a Doka Unimog with awesome off-road capabilities and upgrades, this may be your Unimog. Before we jump into the pros and cons of this 1976 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 416 Doka, let's look at a brief overview of the history of the 406 416 Unimog. Now to start, the name Unimog stands for Universal Motor Garrot, and I'm told Garrot means piece of equipment. A proactive sorry to my German friends if I butchered that pronunciation. The Doka designation simply means double cap. Over the years, Unimogs have had marine, civilian, military, and agricultural applications. Now, specifically, the Unimog 416 is part of the Unimog 406 model family. This dates back to the early 1960s. There were eight different series that fell under the 406 umbrella, including the 416. The 406 model family was technically considered a medium series truck, although it was originally referred to as the heavy series. And while the 406 model family all shared a similar design, the real difference was with the engines, wheelbases, and use type. The first 416 Unimog was offered in 1965 as a long 
long wheelbase model. Some of the unique features of the 416 were they all had the so-called portal axles. This gave it an extra high ground clearance, which is one of the reasons these have such amazing off-road capabilities. The 416 also featured the OM352 engine, which was first developed in 1964. This one in particular is powered by a turbocharged 5.7 liter OM352 diesel inline six, driving all four wheels through a 20-speed manual transmission. Wow. Now, Unimogs are very uncommon in the U.S. due to different regulations than in Germany. There's also been no real meaningful sales and support network in the U.S. for these models. So if you see a Unimog in the U.S., it was typically imported by an independent dealer or enthusiast. There were a few exceptions with Case Tractors and Freightliner truck dealerships offering limited quantities for sale over the years. Now let's get back to this auction that is live on Bring a Trailer. Let's look at the pros and cons of this 1976 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 416. First with the pros. Hell, this is a Unimog 416 Doka, need I say more? Now I'm serious, these 406 family models are some of the most capable off-roaders money can buy. To top that, the awesome modifications Adrenaline Industries made to this 416 Doka put this over the top. Features include fast axles, disc brakes, a body lift, a worn winch, a custom front bumper, 20 inch wheels, a pickup bed with removable sides, a folding tailgate, a bed rack mounted 23-0 tent, stainless steel cargo boxes, LED driving lights, front Corbo racing seats, and a JVC CD stereo. Now, is that enough pros for you? This will likely go down in the history of the channel as the shortest cons review. We see from the auction, the seller notes scratches are present on the body panels and corrosion is present on the bottom of the doors. To me, no big deal given the rarity of this Unimog. And then number two, the big one for me is the staggering $220,000 price point. So if we have impassioned buyers competing in a two-way contest like last time, you're gonna pay big for this heavily modded 416 Unimog. Before we get into the pictures, we always review the comments section first. As I've said on previous shows, this is a best practice that can save you time when you're looking through pictures. The Bring a Trailer audience has extensive knowledge on these marquee vehicles and will often call out areas of concern. Then you can zero in on those with the review of the pictures. I also always recommend if you see something questionable with the pictures, ask questions in the comments forum. It can save you a lot of time and money when you're buying a vintage four-wheel drive. So let's jump into the comments. This first commenter here says, this is the perfect four x four vehicle when you've had it with all the modern junk everybody puts out. We see from this next commenter, best MOG I've ever seen. I would be honored if nobody else bid for the next five days. Not sure what he means there, but I do share his sentiment. This is one sweet Unimog. Then we get a little bit of ownership history here from Adrenaline Sports, which was the seller in the last auction. Some have asked why the owner is selling so fast. After he bought this Unimog from us, he also bought our Mercedes G550 50 4x4 squared and then went crazy making the squared even more capable than stock. Though it will never be quite as capable as this Unimog, he has made it pretty close and he is low on garage space. I think that's key. This Unimog is mind blowing. Nothing we have ever built has gotten more attention than this 416. And we spent a small fortune making it so much more comfortable to drive. Highway gears, sound deadening, heat shielding, turbo, racing seats, diesel heater, and dozens of more things that make this a much better driving experience than a stock one. We see another comment here from Adrenaline Sports addressing an earlier comment. At Kareem 1968, I never had this Unimog listed for 100,000. I would have never sold it that low. It's not just a basic OM352 motor. Couch Off-Road did 20,000 in engine work, including the turbocharger. It has a three inch body lift, which is required for install of the turbocharger. What he's addressing here is comments from this auction and the previous auction that said this rig was for sale for 100,000 or 150,000 on another site. Apparently that's just not true. Love this comment here, I can relate. Wow, this might sound creepy, but I like to look at the pictures of this 416 Doka when I'm alone in my office at night. Creepy, nah, obsessive, yes. And then this is the original comment itself. Sold for 200,000 last year, didn't make any sense. Even the owner then offered it for 100 before Bring a Trailer. I've seen plenty of modified 416s, but never more than 50 to 60,000 tops. I think it's overlifted as well. Well, that's just opinion. I think this thing looks really stout. Why is the owner selling it? That was a hefty chunk of change to nab it. It's beautiful, good luck. And we already saw the comment from Adrenaline Sports addressing why the seller is selling. 
So let's jump into the pictures. This auction has 291 pictures. I've mentioned that best in class when you're looking at an auction on bring a trailer or cars and bids is 100 pictures minimum. So this one blows that out of the water. Now that level of detail gives you confidence that you're getting a full representation of the vehicle. So taking a look at this first picture here, you see just how tough this Unimog Doka looks. I just love this setup with the rims, tires, bumper, and LED lights. This thing is almost too pretty to wheel. Just kidding. And as you see here from this next picture, you do have LED lighting all the way around. I like this picture here showing the side profile of this double cab Doka. This view here shows just how stout this vehicle is and also how tall this Unimog is. I can definitely understand someone running out of space with this in the garage. And then I think this is a nice view of this custom steel bed and the 23-0 tent. Pretty cool with this custom steel bed. They even have the Mercedes badging. Now with this one, I'm not sure if this is the best view, but it is a great view of just how high this clearance is. There truly are very few rigs that are going to rival the clearance of this Unimog Doka. Another nice profile view here. I got to say this tan paint's really growing on me with this Unimog. It's very understated for such an overstated truck. Now I do like this picture here. It's a really nice contrast of old and new. This is obviously a 1976 Doka, but it features a very modern equipment. Now, this is a pretty cool picture here. I lived in San Diego for a time. This picture, I think, is taken in Mission Bay. So it must have been some sight to see this Unimog on the shores of Mission Bay. Pretty cool. I find this picture amusing. With this zoom out, at first glance, it looks like a kid's like Tonka truck. But this Unimog is very real and very large. Caption this one. Just out for a Sunday stroll with my Unimog on the shores of Mission Bay. Love this one. Super cool water photo. Another nice profile picture by the water. So look, I don't know what the future holds with this auction. Will we see 220? Will we see above? But one thing I do know, this Unimog is badass. I can't imagine the fun you could have in this thing. So back into the studio for this next series of pictures. Like this one here, just showing all this additional equipment on this Unimog. Good shot here of the aftermarket Corbo seats. Now, if this isn't cool logos and badging, I don't know what is. And then moving around to the bed, this really is quite the custom setup here with this tent. Here you can see the custom stainless steel storage box and fuel tank. This thing is just ridiculously customized. It's awesome. In this one, you're seeing the bed liner material coating the load floor. Very unique. I'm gonna have to retroactively add this to the cons list. Missing horn button. I kid. I love the look of this cabin. Very nice bird's eye view of the cabin here. Like we we said this is a three pedal model. More than that, it features a 20 speed manual transmission. I've never heard of that. I'm telling you this thing intrigues me more and more. What you're seeing here is how this shifter works. So I watched a video from the previous auction by Adrenaline Sports. The seller talks about the 20 speed manual transmission in in-between gears. Again, I've never seen something like this. So this is a look at the turbocharged 5.7 liter OM352 diesel inline six. As the auction list, this is heavily modified and tuned. And as you can see on this ending shot, just some ordinary stock tires, right? Taking a look at pricing for this 1976 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 416 Doka. We do have the advantage that this is not only a Bring a Trailer alumni vehicle, but it also represents the all-time high paid for a Unimog on Bring a Trailer ever. It sold for a record $220,000 approximately one year ago, and based on a seven-day auction, it will close on almost the exact date one year ago. It'll be pretty awesome to see where the market is one year from the record high. So in total, there have been 77 recorded Unimog auctions on Bring a Trailer since 2016, and of that, only nine were Dokas. Now this 1976 modified Doka that sold for $220,000 in 2022 is not even close to the previous high we saw for a Doka. We had a 1979 Unimog Doka sell for $112,000 in April 2021. So by my math, that's a $100,000 delta to this Unimog currently being auctioned, so not even in the ballpark. We definitely had some very enthusiastic bidders in the last go round. Judging by the comments and the commenters handle, we definitely had some Enneagram type three achievers who like to compete. We'll have to recalibrate with this current auction and see if prices have come back down to earth. So what do you think about this 1976 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 416 Doka? Do you think it'll go higher than the 220,000 from last time? We would love to hear your feedback on pricing and condition in the comments. Also, as I've said before, we are a new channel, and if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This goes a long way to inspire creation of future content. Thanks again for watching. See you next time for more vintage four-wheel drives.